I mean, if you're asked to give a rating between zero and ten and you stick between three and eight, then you're going to be everyone's friend, aren't you? A five is harsh for Sydney. Who? It's a pass. Five is a it's, pass. Yeah, I they mean, have it's passed a, a, to this point I think, of the season. In my opinion, they've, they've, you know, they're still up there. Uh, they're playing good football. Um, no, they're not playing at their absolute best yet, and nor should they. It's the only midpoint of the season. Let's but a five, if, if and you, you've given City an eight, who've lost to the same two teams Sydney have lost to. Victory is seven, who aren't anywhere near their best. So I just find it interesting. And are both below Sydney FC on the table. Yeah, and I look, you know, maybe my conflict of interest is considerable. Is <laughs> and, and your point <laughs> about the scraps and Sydney at the pick of the best players, that they've earned that right mm. throughout the years. And Exactly, so City, they should be marked accordingly. Do City not get the same opportunity and victory as well? Well, I mean, so. to be fair, I think, you know, victory have risen to compete with City. Western United have come in and immediately competitive with City in Victoria, whereas I think in New South Wales, Sydney FC is captain pick first and they get that you, 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 come and join us. And then the other teams then get to pick afterwards. And I think that until the other teams in New South Wales, Newcastle and uh, we've got Mariners coming in next year, but also Western Sydney Wanderers, I don't think they put up as stern a competition as we see down in Victoria with how those three, the dynamic is shaking out between those three teams. Yeah.